G'day guys, what's going on and welcome to this episode of Aussie English. Today we're going to be talking about 50 different Australian slang terms you need to know. Let's go. Arvo. Arvo. This is just afternoon. You might hear this, what are you doing this Arvo? Or what are you doing tomorrow Arvo? And it just means, or what are you doing this afternoon or tomorrow afternoon, Arvo. The Aussie salute. The Aussie salute is what we use to refer to when someone does this because a flies in their face. Bzzz, and they move their hand like this because we have a lot of flies in Australia. To bail. If you bail on something or bail on someone or you just need to bail, it just means that you need to leave. Sorry guys, I've got to bail. I have to go home, I've got to get dinner, I've got to bail. Sorry about that, got a bail. A barbie. A barbie is just a barbecue. So you might have friends over on the weekend, get on the deck, get some food, put it on the barbie, cook it up. You're having a barbie, you're having a barbecue. A barbie. Bathers. Bathers is an incredibly common way of saying swimsuit. The gear that you wear when you go to the beach or when you go to a swimming pool because you want to swim, you put your bathers on. Beauty. Oh man, what a beauty. A beauty is something that is really good, as in beautiful. It is a beauty. He got a new car. It is a beauty. What a beauty. That car is a beauty. A billabong. Billabong is an Aboriginal word for a pond, a small piece of water, small thing of water, in a dry riverbed. This is a billabong and it's also a brand of surfing gear in Australia. A billy. A billy is a teapot, usually made out of a metal tin, a tin of some kind. You put it on a campfire, you use it to heat water when you're camping. A billy. A bludger. A bludger is someone who is lazy and doesn't work. If they don't have a job or when they are working, they're incredibly lazy, they are a bludger. And you're going to often hear this in the phrase dull bludger, which means that you are receiving government benefits because you don't have a job. You're a dull bludger. That guy is a real bludger. Bogan. Man, this is one that is hard to explain. A bogan is someone who is usually uncouth, unsophisticated, uneducated, swears a lot, um, is just an unpleasant person usually. It's sort of Australia's version of a redneck, a bogan, a bogan. And a bogan usually doesn't know they're a bogan. Everyone thinks someone else is a bogan, but bogans themselves probably won't say, yeah, I'm a real bogan, okay? Bogan. Be careful how you use that down under. Booze bus. The booze bus. Booze is alcohol. Booze. A booze bus is a police bus that is used for breath testing, getting a breath o when you're driving around in the city, wherever it is. If there's a big bus there doing breath tests, it's a booze bus. Booze bus. A bottle o. A bottle o is a bottle shop, somewhere you can buy grog, booze, alcohol. A bottle o. Let's go to the bottle-o later and grab some beers. She's gonna head over to the bottle-o and get some wine. I love going to the bottle-o on weekends. Bottle-o. Brekkie. Brekkie. Everyone gets up and has brekkie in the morning. Brekkie means breakfast. The most important meal of the day. Brekkie. Let's grab a bite to eat. Let's get some brekkie. Brolly. A brolly is an umbrella, right? If it's raining outside, if it's pouring, rain's coming down, you pull out your umbrella, that is a brolly. Did you bring your brolly? Looks like it's raining outside. Get your brolly out. A buck. A buck is a dollar in Australian English. A buck or bucks. How much is that, mate? Ah, about 50 bucks. Can you spare a few bucks, mate? I'm out. I need a few bucks to grab some beer from the bottle-o. Buck or bucks. Budgie smugglers. B budgie smugglers are speedos or male bathers that are usually very small sitting around the crutch area of a man and because his genitals look like a budgie, the bird, being put inside of a sack, it's often referred to as budgie smugglers. So, yeah, 
Be careful how you use that one in Australia, but people will laugh if you say, that guy's got some nice budgie smugglers. Tony Abbott does not look very good when he's wearing his budgie smugglers. Budgie smuggler. The bush. The bush is anywhere that is away from civilization in Australia. If it is away from a city, away from a town, there is forest, there's desert, whatever it is, it is isolated areas of country in Australia. The bush. Cab Sam. This just stands for Cabernet Sauvignon, which is a type of red wine in Australia. So we get lazy. We don't want to say, let's go get a Cabernet Sauvignon. We'll say, let's grab some Cab Sav. I love a good Cab Sav on the weekends after brekkie. Cactus. If something is cactus, it's broken. It doesn't work anymore. The, the car broke down, it's cactus. If you're cactus, it means you're tired. I've been working all day. I am cactus. Cactus. Chock-a-block. If a place is chock-a-block, it is that it is completely full. So you've gone to a location, there are people everywhere, you can barely move. The place is chock-a-block. Or maybe the fridge, you've got a fridge full of food, full of beer, whatever it is. It's chock-a-block full of beer. Chock-a-block full of food. Chock-a-block. Chocky Bicky, you get a two for one here, guys. A Chocky Bicky is a chocolate biscuit. So we can often use Chocky to refer to anything that's chocolate, and we can often use Bicky to refer to a biscuit. Would you like a Chocky Bicky? Nana's got some Chocky Bickies just for you, mate. Chocky Bicky. A chook. A chook is a female chicken. But you'll often use it on someone sort of as a term of endearment if they're being a bit I don't know, if they're a bit scared to do something, ah, don't be a chook. That guy's a bit of a chook. She's a bit of a chook. A chook. Chrissy. This one's probably pretty obvious. Christmas. What are you doing this Chrissy? Are you gonna celebrate Chrissy with your family? Chrissy. Everyone loves Chrissy. Everyone loves Santa Claus. Chrissy. A ciggy. A ciggy is a cigarette. That guy loves smoking a pack of ciggies every single day. He's obsessed with smoking ciggies. Siggy. To get clucky. To get clucky. Now, obviously, men can't get clucky. Women get clucky. And it means to get maternal. So, if someone is thinking about having children, or they see children and they're like, oh, I love kids, they're getting a bit clucky. And the idea here is that they are like a chook that is about to lay eggs and have baby chickens. Clucky. Clucky. Cobber. A cobber? or old cobber, that guy, that cobber, it just means good friend. So you might hear guys from time to time use this in Australia to refer to mates. How's cobber going? What's up with old cobber? Cobber. A coldie. A coldie is just a cold beverage. Could be a beer, could be a Coke, whatever it is that's a cold drink, it is a coldie. That leads me to this one, a cold one. Same thing, a cold drink. A cold one. Give us a cold one. I might grab a cold one out of the fridge. I'm parched. Really need something to drink. Give us a coldie. A cop or copper or cops. Coppers. This is a policeman or the police. There's lots of cops on the roads today. They're using booze buses and they're trying to bust anyone who's drink driving. Cops or coppers. That guy's a cop. Crikey. Steve Irwin loves this one. Crikey. Crikey is just an expression to show surprise, enthusiasm, excitement. Crikey. Whoa, that looks amazing outside. Crikey. Crikey, it's hot outside. Crikey, there's a croc over there. Crikey. A croc. A croc is a crocodile. Crikey, there's lots of crocs in that river. Don't go swimming at the beach, mate. There's crocs everywhere. It's dangerous. Crikey. Crocs. To be crook. If you are crook, it means that you're sick. It means that you're ill. It means that you're under the weather. Oh, I'm feeling a bit crook today. I might skip work. I'm feeling under the weather. I'm feeling crook. A dag. Literally, a dag is the poo that hangs from a baby sheep's tail before the, sh the tail's been removed. However, we never use it that way. Anytime someone calls you a dag, it is a term of endearment to say that you're a little bit silly or that you are a bit of a nerd or a geek, you're a bit 
unfashionable with wearing something, you're a dag, right? So if I was wearing a silly hat, someone might say, take that hat off, you look like a dag. A dag. Don't be a dag, mate. Your dax. Your dax are your trousers, your pants, or even your underwear. So if someone dax you, they pull your pants down, but they might refer to the pants as dax themselves. Where are your dax, mate? How come you're just wearing budgie smugglers? I lost my dax. Dax. Dead set. If someone says dead set, it's that they're asking, is that real? Is that true? Are you serious? Dead set. But you can also use this as a way of describing something as being authentic or true. Man, that guy is a dead set legend. That is a dead set awesome car. Dead set. Devo. If you're Devo, you're devastated. So I went outside the other day, had my brolly, the brolly broke, and I was Devo. I was devastated. Devo. A drongo. If you're a drongo, it's that you're a bit of a fool or an idiot. I don't like that girl, she's a bit of a drongo. That bloke over there is really strange. He's a bit of a dag, but actually, you know what? Even worse than that, he's a drongo. That guy is a real drongo. Don't be a drongo, mate. A dunny. A dunny is a toilet. I've got to go to the dunny. I'm busting. I need to go to the dunny. Is there a dunny nearby? Dunny. That's a really good one to use. A dunny. And if you go camping and you find a dunny where it doesn't flush, it's just a hole in the ground with a dunny on top, that's a drop dunny. Dunny. An esky. An esky is something you put your cold drinks in. It's an insulated container for cold drinks. An esky. You'll often take these to Barbies in order to keep your drinks cold so that you can have a cold one or a cold E whenever you want. Esky. Fair dinkum. Fair dinkum. This is a way of saying, honestly, no kidding. Are you serious? Really? Fair dinkum. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, fair dinkum. Did that guy really steal that car? Yeah, he did. Fair dinkum. No kidding. Serious? Fair dinkum. But you can also use this one sort of like dead set when describing someone. That guy is a dead set legend. That guy is a fair dinkum legend. He's true, he's authentic, he's fair dinkum. A flano or a flanny. This is a flannelette shirt. Not really much else to say. If you're wearing a flanny or a flano, you're wearing a striped or crossed uh, flannelette shirt. Flano, flanny. A frothy. A frothy is a beer. When you open that beer, a coldie or a cold one, and the froth comes out of it, it's a frothy. Grab us a frothy, mate. Grab us a frothy out of the esky. I'm after a cold frothy. Ah, that'll hit the spot. Frothy. G'day. G'day is pretty self-explanatory and I'm sure you probably already know what this is. Use it. G'day. G'day. Hello. How are you? What's going on? G'day, mate. G'day, mate. And definitely use mate if you're talking to guys and it's an informal situation. G'day, mate. How's it going? G'day. A galah. Now, this one isn't that common anymore. I used to hear this when someone was talking about a stupid person. That guy's a bit of a galah. This is a parrot in Australia. It's pink and grey. It's a pink and grey parrot, a galah, and they tend to be stupid birds. So, if you call someone a galah, it's kind of a polite way of calling someone an idiot. That guy is a real galah. What a galah. Get stuffed. If you tell someone to get stuffed, it's that you're telling them, in a polite way, screw you. So, you could use this usually in anger to tell someone to go away or as an expression of contempt. Someone says something to you, you're an idiot. You might say, ah, get stuffed. If someone says your flanny's a bit weird and looks strange, you might tell them, get stuffed. Get stuffed, mate. Get stuffed. Can't be stuffed. This is another good one. If you can't be stuffed, this means you can't be bothered. Mate, can you come over here and help me with that? Uh, no, nah, can't be stuffed. Sorry, mate, can't be bothered. I can't be stuffed. Going off. If something is going off, usually a party or some kind of social event or gathering, it means that it is incredibly busy with lots of people and it is in full swing. So it is incredibly enjoyable. This party is going off. Things are going off. Whoa, stuff over there at the shops is going off. There are people everywhere. It's chock-a-block. It's going off. Good on ya. This is a common one. 
Good on you, mate. Good on you. And it just means well done. Did a good job, mate. At work, that was amazing. What you did was great. Good on you. But you could also use this sarcastically. So imagine someone said, Pete's so dumb, he doesn't know how to tie his own shoelaces. I might say, yeah, good on you, mate. Good on you. Goon. Oh my God. Goon. Goon is <laughs> one of the most famous inventions that young university students tend to love in Australia. And it is a plastic sack with wine in it. It is cask wine. So if someone says, oh, I brought some goon to the party, the party that's going off, they're talking about a sack of wine. Goon. Goon. And it's incredibly cheap. Let's get some goon, mate. I think it's like five bucks at the shops. Goon. Hard yakka. Hard yakka just means hard work. I've been working all day. I've been putting in a lot of hard yakka at work. If you want to work as a builder, it requires a lot of hard yakka. Hard yakka. The very last one, guys. Heaps. Heaps. This just means loads. Lots. Many. Okay? There's heaps of people outside. It's chock-a-block outside. There are heaps and heaps of people there. It's really hot outside. It's heaps hot. You might hear people say that from time to time, meaning it is really something. It is really hot. It's heaps hot. It is really good. It's heaps good. So that's it for today, guys. Don't forget, if you would like to learn Australian English, check out the Aussie English podcast.com. You can download this on your phone. You can listen on your computer. You can read the transcripts from the podcast on your computer. This is the number one podcast for anyone wanting to learn Australian English. English. I hope you enjoy those slang terms, guys. I hope that you get to use them in real life. And I reckon try and use one in a comment below and see how you go. Don't forget to, to hit subscribe, hit that bell notification button if you would like to stay up to date with all the new videos as they come out. Anyway, until next time, guys, catch you later. Peace.